the tell-all briefcase. Item number, SCP-1402. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-1402 is to be contained in storage locker blank on sector blank. Any staff ranked level 3 or higher may be granted access under the supervision of two other level 4 staff, as long as reports are made for all tests and documents are submitted for review. However, testing on other SCP objects requires senior staff approval before they may be carried out. All documents received as a result of testing will be reviewed by a level 4 staff member who is not in relation to the document itself before either being filed in filing cabinet blank or kept by personnel upon request approval by reviewing level 4 staff, provided the document relates to said requesting personnel. Description SCP-1402 is a plastic brown Royal Traveler brand briefcase. It measures 45 centimeters across, 30 centimeters in height, and 10 centimeters in width. It can be opened by unlatching two stainless steel clips found on either side of the rubber handle. Each clip is outfitted with a key lock, yet the key has so far not been found. If presented to any object or living thing, done by facing the opening towards said subject, and opened, SCP-1402 will dispense a number of documents, providing explicit detail of the object or living thing's history up until SCP-1402 was presented to the subject. The mechanism by which SCP-1402 achieves this is unknown, as is the mechanism by which the object acquires the paper and ink on which to print the information. These documents are an 8-point, Times New Roman font on A4 printing paper with 1 cm margins on all sides, printed in Black India ink, and are single spaced. Testing has shown that SCP-1402 may only distribute 1,000 pages per presentation. The content is always written in the form of biography, e.g., Dr. John Doe was born on January 1st, 1950. In spite of this, the content of these documents are not always accurate, sometimes being completely false. The content of the documents seems to be entirely random, and no trend has yet to be realized. Many times, crossovers with pieces of fiction using the subject as a character have been presented. In addition, many documents have inserted the subject into real-world events in situations for which they were not present. Information about the subject has always been factual, and very few documents have omitted any confirmed factual accounts. For a full list of documents composed by SCP-1402, please refer to Experiment Log 1402.